Hey YouTube E-Trooper, beekeepers, how you doing today? Uh, a little bee maintenance today. Thought I'd take you along with me, show, show you what I'm doing. And uh, get you in the holster here and show the goodies. Yeah, we're getting into fall now. And uh, yeah, I wanted to take you, let me take you over here real quick and show you the bloom of the uh, Brazilian pepper. Brazilian pepper bloom, it's it's coming along. I don't know how much nectar's in it. Uh, yeah, this is a wild tree that came in here. And uh, it's late this year. Normally it says, says September 15th is happening. But you can see a real small white bloom. And then the little green ones haven't popped yet. And this thing will get covered with uh, red berries. And... Uh, so yeah, that's that little invasive tree in Florida here. It's been here since the 1800s. It ain't going away. The state thinks it is, but they're wasting taxpayer money trying to kill it out. I, I don't know. Anyway, here's what I got laid out. I got some sugar water, and it's got essential oils in it. Well, if you go back and look at my other videos, you'll see it out there. Essential oils. There's tea tree. There's uh, wintergreen. There is a... Uh, a, a, a one or two drops of lemongrass in there. I've got my oxalic acid vaporizer. I've got some CD disc here that I have modified with that heat gun. You'll see that in how to make those and that other thing. And if you look down through there, you'll see it's a nice little clear passageway. I took some Gorilla Tape and put over here, just keep the light out because this light was gonna shine through. And I put these down because these holes are on the bottom that I've opened up. Now they're not big enough to get a bee inside. So I've got four hives here that we're going to go into. And what I've made up here is some Crisco. And I put raw honey in it. Enough raw honey in it. You can actually see it's colored up. It used to be Snow White with a Crisco, but you see it's little amber color that's the raw honey and then I put um, uh, the uh, boric acid in there you just get that at your local store and you just guessed to me I put probably a half a teaspoon in this little cup and what I'm gonna do here they're gonna come in on the bottom so we're gonna put a gob over here You've got this center thing in the center here that's probably going to hit right there. But you put some here and you put some over here on all four of these. There's some in there now. There's some of these in the hives now on the very bottom. Okay, and I'm going to pull those out. But I, I was in there a week I think it's been two weeks since I've been into these hives and they hadn't done much of anything I mean there was hardly any dead bees in there but I don't think I got enough honey in here I think my ratio was off I'm I'm experimenting with this because normally what I do use is the uh, the just the trap beetle traps and uh, I've got some here cleaned out. I've got some brand new one minis. I got some minis here, brand new ones, and I'll put a little oil in. I'm gonna take the ones that I had to speed this operation up. I'm gonna take those out of there and throw them in this bucket over here. So I've got everything here. I got my oxalic acid and my funnel to install it into the tool. And then last thing on the job here, I will add, I will put freshen up the tangle foot along the, on that stand over there so yeah i'm gonna get suited up here and uh, these here just close up see they just close up like that the beetles will come in eat that stuff and die within the case that's that's the hope and plan so let's get i'll be right back with you I'll suit up and we'll dive into these hives and start getting the job done. See you in a few. Back with you guys. 
get this old smoker fired up here. Boy, it's hot today, guys. Woo, buddy. I'll tell you what, the humidity is just crazy. Yep. Welcome to Florida. Yep. Get some more of this smoking material here. They might not be too happy to see me today. There's some storms coming in. It's right along the coast here. I think when that barometric pressure drops, these bees just... They just don't seem to like to be fooled with. But we can't always pick our perfect days, you know? And if you guys get into commercial beekeeping, you may have to work with, I work bees in the rain, I work bees at night. I've done all kind of craziness just to get the job knocked out. And with this heat, guys, be careful with the heat. I about went down out there and I was by myself. I was way up in Perry, Florida, way out in some really big uh, gall bearing palmetto. And, uh, I was working with another big commercial guy and he was loaded out. I helped him load out and he had to get gone. So he took off and I had to load up the rest of the bees by myself. I had a little Kelly High Boom lifter. And uh, anyway, uh, it got so freaking hot out there. I finally got the job knocked down. I almost fell out and I crawled up under a tree. And. Uh, Thank God I had plenty of water with me, ice water. And uh, I just kept sipping water and drizzling water on my neck and my wrist. And uh, after about an hour, I came back around, was able to come on out of there. And, uh, but what you want, where I'm going with the story is, it's a good idea to uh, what mm -hmm. I did after that deal. I always kept a 10 gallon, one of those big 10 gallon igloo coolers. And then I got a small, uh, was it one gallon, I think. Yeah, one gallon pump sprayer. And I put good clean water in it because I wanted to be able to drink that water too. And, uh, I'd keep, I kept plenty of, I had two coolers, and I kept one with ice, I had plenty of water, and I keep that jug right, that spray, pump spray right in that gallon, that big five gallon, or no, ten gallon igloo. And, uh, yeah, they're already coming out here trying to attack me. Anyway, that thing was a lifesaver, guys. And if you guys get in commercial beekeeping, be thinking about that because you can every five minutes or ten minutes or whatever, walk over, grab that pump sprayer, stick it under your armpits, hit your neck with it, get your neck hit with that, and uh, yeah, th that'll keep you safe. There's nothing in this top box here. Nothing in here. This box here is completely loaded with honey. This thing completely loaded. And they're not happy to see me, okay? They are not happy campers. Oh, isn't that a shame? I've got to get down in the bottom of this thing and get to that... Uh, those cassette wow guys that sucker is heavy 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 this is loaded a lot of beetles okay just throwing it in there for now Yeah, quite a few beetles. Get rid of those nasty little boogers. All right, we're, we're gonna go down in this box 
I gotta get to the I gotta get to the bottom floor. But this hive looks real well, real good here. It's about honey bound. But they've got one more super they can come up and fill here. So yeah. Some beetles trying to escape around the edges. Yeah, these bees are not happy, buddy. I'll tell you what. Of course, these are my twisted sisters, as you guys know. The little twisted sisters. But I'll tell you what, guys. That's a good looking. She's laying that thing up pretty nice. Same here, look at that thing. These are the bees that I, I went into, you know, I told you before. Uh, I think I started, I got these off a golf course. They were inside a meter box. Look at all the beetles crawling around on the outside of that case. Those little pot lickers. Yeah. And I don't see much of anything in the inside of this case, guys. No, hardly any of these beetles are walking around in here having a picnic, okay? But we're going to give them this little treat right here. I made a new blend up. I think this might trick them. I don't need to look for a queen here, guys. Put these back in the same order you got them out. Keep the little girls from getting all confused. I don't need to look for a queen. I know I have one. No need to lollygag around in here. Put your box on. See them all there? Slide them out of the way. So you're not killing hundreds of them. All right, now, this is the one I had the, uh, we're gonna put a, uh, I'll put up this longer beetle trap in here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All we got to do now, guys, put the hive back together. And last thing, what I'll do, I'll go through all these hives. Last thing I'll do is come back, and I will uh, gas them with the uh, oxalic acid. That's the last thing I'll do. Good strong colony. I may rob some honey out of it, I don't know. I've got quite a bit of comb honey. Uh, see this honey that leaked out? They'll clean that up in just a few minutes. Let me put a jar on them here. Yeah, they're cranked up. They're, they're not happy to see old Steve Rose today. Imagine that. Oh well. They'll get over it. Man. All right, that hive's done. Let's go to the next one.
County, some of these hives, uh, you'd think they'd all equally be the same, you know. Never are. They're all different. Every one of them different. Kind of like people. Some people are happy, some people are pissed, you know. This hive here has nothing on the top either. Oh, uh, let's see what's going on here with these little traps. A few, not bad, I'm gonna leave that one in. Apparent, you know, a lot of these hives, some of them, some of them are better at uh, keeping out the beetles than others. They're, they're better, they fight, they fight harder. I'm going to go to the bottom of this colony too and get that. Ah, that thing's full of honey. That thing is full of honey. So that tells me, guys, these things weren't that fat with honey about a week or two ago. So that's telling me that uh, that these uh, this bloom here, this pepper bloom, ain't too bad. The only problem with these cassette deals, you got to get to the bottom of the hive to get them out. You know, so you're digging all the way in the bottom of this thing. That's not a very impressive looking frame. I think I tore that out last time I was in here. I had some bad comb going every which way. She's laying good though. Yeah. This was a cutout from before. I had that cutout. You can see the rubber bands here. And you just cut the comb out and you put it in there and you put the rubber bands on it. I see eggs in there. She's laying back good on it. Let's see what's in this case here. I don't see a thing in this case. Hopefully. Hopefully a new case here will, uh, you know. Knock these beetles out. And I like to put it in the back. The back of the hive. Yeah. And with these beefy beehives, guys, you see the slop in this thing? If I shove this thing all the way up, I'm going to close off this front end. So shove them back. Shove them back this way, to the back of the hog. All of them. Just bump them back. That gives them plenty of entrance room in here. Alright. You can go. Another thing, too, guys, I have got a. I'm hurting for space here on this property, so what I've done is I've had to stick my bees back here in the back. Ideal scenario have your bees in full sun. Put your bees in full sunlight if you can. They like it better that way. And their disposition's better. But with my scenario here, I can, on my other yard, on my other bee yard, they're pretty much in full sun. But over here, I don't have that option.
Now, this essential oil in here, you know, takes out your, your varola mites, tracheal mites. So that's a good thing. Like I told you before, guys, in the 60s, I didn't have to deal with all this nonsense. None of it. These little aliens from another planet came in here. And we just have to deal with it, okay? We just have to deal with it, guys. But your biggest killer for beekeepers is the heat. So be careful, like I'm telling you guys. I've just got a few hives to work here and I'm getting pretty warm already. But, uh, yeah. Don't have a heat stroke out here. If you've got lots of bees to work, get, get, that, get that pump sprayer, like I'm telling you. Strip down what I always did. When I put a t-shirt on. Then I would put uh, shorts on underneath my bulletproof suit like I got on now and if they're really vicious you better have a bulletproof suit you won't be standing out there too long and uh, yeah yeah this guy here's full of honey matter of fact matter of fact I got to get another super on this puppy I got to give these girls some elbow room here because this this flow that trap don't look too shabby I'm gonna leave it on this thing if you can look down through here and see it this is all capped honey and I'm not gonna rip into it but I can tell by the color I can tell by the color of that honey that is Brazilian pepper I'll tell you what guys Florida beekeepers love it state of Florida don't it's an invasive tree okay it's an invasive tree and it's not it's not gonna go away I mean you know you can try to eradicate it but all you're gonna do is waste the, the only way you could probably do it, guys, is if you were to kill all the songbirds in Florida. Yeah, because in the fall, we have a big influx of, like, blackbirds. And the blackbirds come in, they're eating these seeds, and they get drunk on them, too. I don't know what the heck is up with that, but they get kind of drunk. And they're running around and pooping the seeds. Now look at this frame, guys. Getting the sunlight. What do you got? What do you beekeepers think of that? This is the kind of queen, guys, right here you want to be breeding from. Look at the look at the pattern on that puppy. Yes. That is beautiful. Everything is loaded up. It's loaded up real nice. I've got to get another super on top of this. And I've got plenty of them. I'm going to assemble this, then I'm going to walk over here. I got more soup just around the corner. And we'll shove in another, put another super on top of this one. Yeah.
see my entrance is my entrance is over here, so I'm pushing these frames back. You'll notice, guys, I'm not even looking for a queen. Don't need to. I know I've got a good queen in here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to under super this. Let's go over here and get another box. I got a little stockpile over here in my junkyard. Now, I know this looks messy to you guys. I know this looks a little messy over here, but I know where very, everything is. So, yeah. Somebody was asking me the other day about these plugs. Do they blow off in the wind? Nope, they don't. But I'll tell you what I got in here, guys. Pharaoh ants. Pharaoh ants. What a pain in the butt they are, huh? No big deal. These bees will chase them out. I'm lacking one frame for this box, so we'll go down here and steal one here. Yeah, these these don't blow out. Somebody asked me the other day, did they do they blow out? No. on and slide them out of the way are they happy probably not all right what I'm gonna do to jack them up here a little bit I'm gonna put one frame in the center here I'm gonna take one frame from the center here and put in the top of this thing in this top one. Yeah, that thing. It's got a little brood in it, but they're moving the brood down. They're moving that brood down and putting the honey up because we got honey coming in. Now what I'm going to do is put this puppy right on top here. Yeah, whenever I'd go to South Florida, uh, I'm saying Ponta Gorda, Northport in there. I had some Amish people that let me put my put bees on their property. And I'd give them some honey, you know. One year they wanted a beehive, I gave them a beehive. And, uh, yeah, you just work little deals like that. All right, let's go into this last one. at this yard. I got more bees at another yard I got to go to today. But it'll be the same scenario over there. So there's no need in dragging you all the way over there for that deal. You guys get the picture of what's going on here. Alright, I'm seeing bees all the way to the top side here of this hive. It's full of honey, too. This is the meanest of the... This is the meanest of the hives. Of all these bees I have, this is the meanest one. Save the mean one for the last, right? But guess what, guys? The mean colonies need to make more honey. I mean, if you're selling bees to hobbyists, 
No, this is <laughs> this is not the this is not the ideal scenario, okay? This is ain't this is not what you want. Oh man, is that full of honey. I have got to get another super on this one, guys. I hope I can come up with it. Let's see what I've got here. Okay. Five, eight. I got some other equipment over there, but I I need to be making up some more boxes, obviously. I don't think I've got another super to go on this hive. dig and fight guys and find a way to get at you okay and right now they're getting at me so i gotta wrap this job up pretty quick here and get my ass ate alive here therapy right now guys I am getting it there's the meanest box of bees I got and I'm killing off all these queens in the spring every one of them and I got a got a buddy down the road here he's a breeder and uh I don't really want to do it, but I, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy some of his queens and change out this entire genetic scenario I got here. What you do is you come in and kill all your queens. You come back in 10 days come back in 10 days and you go through these hives man are they hammering my back Woo. you go through these hives 10 days after you've killed your queens and you go through and you kill all them you crush all them cells that they're making okay it's a timing thing and what you do is you, uh, after you kill themselves out, the next day come along and install all your new queens in there. And they will chew them queens out of there in a few days. And uh, they're hurt for, they'll be hurt for a queen. So they will accept them queens. Yeah. All right, guys. I was going to go through this vaporizing thing again with you. But my back is numb right now. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to come back tomorrow and vaporize these puppies. All of them with the oxalic gas. And I'm not going to do it today. i got to get out of this suit, find out where they're coming in on me. And uh, 
A little bee venom's good for you. A lot of bee venom will freaking kill you, but I'm a pretty tough old cod here. I've taken hundreds of hits, and I'm immune to the venom, but the pain is still there. I mean, you, you, yeah. Man, I, they got more stingers on this camera lens, and on top of this camera. <laughs> Yeah, this has got like a little rubber housing on it, and it's just covered the whole top of this camera. It's covered with bee venom. There's got to be a hundred hits in this camera. So anyway, yeah, that's what's going on on my little farm today. Getting pounded by the twisted sister. Hey guys, be happy. I'll see you on the next bit. Bye-bye.